So today we're going to start with a warm up. It takes about 10 minutes going through some of the exercises. We're then going to do five cardio um, exercises, which are just a little bit of agility. We then go down to the mat, do five exercises, back to cardio, back to mat, back to cardio, and back to mat. But you can do anything at any intensity. Um, hopefully, you know, you know your injuries. It's very difficult on Zoom to actually see um, technique. So please just do things slower rather than um, fast. Please stop if anything causes pain. And you can actually contact me and let me know and unmute yourselves if you want any further explanation or anything. So we're just going to start. We're just going to start by just stretching, just seeing where we are today. So just nice and tall and just stretching. See how tall we can be. My stretches today are all about length. So just lifting up through that rib cage and going tall and then reaching over to the side and reaching over. Now if you cross your feet, you just get a little bit of difference around your hip. So as we go over, we reach and we reach. Just swinging in the wind. There hasn't been very much wind in Cambridge. Then we're going to go down and up, your north and your south. Down and up. You may feel some cracks, that's okay. Then we're going to pop our arms out, just stretching behind our heads, going way, getting that side working, getting those hips working, feeling the IT band through here, feeling that stretch, just coming through. And as you go up and down, you should be pulling. That toe needs to come up. That toe needs to go down. So we're just mobilising. Arm swings. Back they go. And then forward. Let's do a big hug forward. Right the way forward. Right the way forward. And then let's go all the way back. So let's go forward. Forward. And back. Good. Coming down. Going to our side lunge. We're going to be doing side lunges today. So let's see, where is your side lunge? Let's see how low you want to go. Just doing it as a stretch, a little bit of mobility. Then we'll go a little bit faster. So changing sides. Just going down and up. You may not touch the floor. You may just want to go a little way. It's up to you. Just warm up into that position. So that's your side lunge. The other lateral movement we're going to do is our skater. And the skater goes back. The skater goes back. So just crossing over, going back and going back. Okay, if you want to bring it to a high impact, you go down and down. So you can do that faster. You do a little skip and go down. I know I've got some dancers, so I've had to see some lovely arms. Okay, round we go. Where is your squat? See where your squat is. Your feet can go the same way as your knees, just going down. May not be very low at the moment. So let's just do a few. Down we go. Two more, one, and hold it down. Then just open up those shoulders. Open up those shoulders. Open and open. And then reach down and open. Reach down, allow that shoulder to collapse and then open, reach down, and then open. The other side, reaching down, and open, down, and open. We're going to do a little bears, so our little bears, do you remember? We come up onto our toes, so that's your bear. We're actually going to do a bear shuffle, so that's just walking up on your toes. So you like this, bear shuffle. It's a bear shuffle, bear shuffle. So instead of being up here where we shuffle, we can just come with me, shuffle. We're going to go down. It uses your glutes a little bit more and makes your feet more agile. Going through, going through like a bear shuffle. Okay, then stars. Down and out. Down and out. And let's just twist through. So let's twist round, twist round. And I know we've got some fast feet today. So, if you want to do fast feet, you can just march on the spot. So let's just march, or you can do, or you can just jiggle as fast as you can. So let's do that, we'll do six, and then slow. Right, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then slow. And again, fast, 
and then slow. Really fast, fast, and then slow. Good, hamstrings. Let's go down to those. Let's go down. Let's see where that hamstring is. Let's go through. You've got it. How are we doing? Is everyone okay? Yeah? You feeling warmed up? <laughs> nice and good. Yeah. So our first exercise is going to be shuffling along the side and then it's going to be our one, two, three, one, two, three, but we're going to stop. One, two, three, fast feet for eight. One, two, three, fast feet for eight. So that's our first exercise. Next one will be four skaters. Four skaters and then squats and squats and squats. So four skaters, four squats. It'll work us out at the time. And then we're going to do shuffles and skaters. Okay, so we're going to go in five seconds, just going to the side and then fast feet for five minutes. Here we go, first one, sideways, fast feet, go. Oh, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A oh, one, two, three, four. A oh, one, two, three. A oh, one, two, three, four. Fast and you can. One, two, three, four, fast. Go on, pump it. Oh, you can do fast high bones. And then faster feet at the end. You can walk it and just do it. One, two, three, up, and eight. One, two, three, up, and then eight. Come on, sideways, pump it. Who's got those fast feet? Where are you? Where are you? You've got 10 seconds. Up. Last time. Oh, eight. You're there. Well done. That's your first 40 seconds. Yeah, so it's four skaters, four squats. Ready? Four skaters. Skate. And we go skate and skate, and three, and four, and squat, and squat, and squat, and squat. Now it's in. skate, and skate, and skate, and skate, and squat, and squat, and squat, and squat. A one, a two, a three, a four, come down, two, three, you can go faster. A one, two, three, four, and down, and down, and down, and down, and lower. And lower, and lower, and down, and two, and three, five seconds. Come on, pump it out, pump it out. 20 seconds break, you're there. This time we're gonna shuffle, and then do our skaters. So shuffle, shuffle, skate, 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 skate. Shuffle four skaters. In five, ooh, catching your breath. In five, and four, and three, skate, shuffle. And then four, three, two, one, shuffle. Four, three, two, one, shuffle. Let's see you walk. Three, two, one, shuffle. Four, three, two, one, shuffle. Bigger, one, two, three, four, shuffle. A one, two, three, four, shuffle. Come on, down. Shuffle. A one, two, three, four, you've got 10 seconds. Come on, to the end, to the end. Come on, Whoa. one, two, three, last one. And it's done, 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 well done. Rest. Hey Mary. So, it's gonna be tempo squats and high knees. Two tempo squats, four high knees. So Mary. Ten, down and down, high Mary. knees, two, three, four. Okay, ready? And we go tempo. A one, two, one, two, three, four. Down and down. One, two, three, four. You can jump up down and down. One, two, three, four. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Down and down. Come on, you can do it. Come on, get down, get high, get high. Let's do time. Down and down. A one, two, three, four, and down. 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, down and down. Let's see it. Come on, higher, higher, lower and lower. Last four, three, two, one, rest. You're on your fourth one already. And we're doing our ladder. We're doing knees in pairs and then one plank. There'll be two knees, one plank. Four knees, one plank. Six knees, one plank. Ready? Two knees, one plank to begin with. Two knees, one, two, one plank. Down and up, four knees. You've got it, 
One plank. Six knees. Come on. You've got an eight this time. If you've got there. When you get halfway, you then go back to hand. Go down now. So you maybe on four, one plank. And then you say on two and one. One, two, one. One, two, ten seconds. One. A one, two, down. A one, two, down. Come on, last five seconds. Whoa, and you're there. Five minutes of cardio, done. Well done. Whoa, it's drink time. It's hard. <laughs> well done. The core will bring it down. So on the core, we're just going to do two really good balances to begin with. Lots of people are running, so I just want us to think of our posture, and I want to think of us, if we had a pole, our head and our, our, our bottom would be all together. And we're just going to, for 40 seconds, we're gonna try our front leg lift. So keeping you nice and tall, and just doing your front leg lift. Then we're gonna go back to our left, to our back leg lift. We're then gonna kneel and do a leg lift this way. If you've got a chair, you can hold on to something. Otherwise, you can just hold your leg up. It's up to you, whatever intensity you want to do. We're doing one side and then the other side, and then we finish with a twist. So plenty of time to get your breath back. If you have your pole, you can use your pole. Just for your posture. So, nice and tall, we're starting with the leg forward. Tall and lift, 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 lift. Front leg lift for 20 seconds one side. See, can you hold that position? Can you go higher? Have you got that leg straight and engaged? Change legs. Do you need to hold on to anything? Can you do it without balance? Nice and tall, lift, lift. It's posture. You can just do toe taps, but I want that posture. You can do your arms as well. You're very advanced with balance. With balance. Working that core with balance. There we go. See, that's nice and simple. Then we go to our back leg. Remember for your back, I want your back to be straight. So your back leg should be there. That would be the extreme. So we just start. Standing and popping our leg back. So just pop your leg back to begin with and lift, lift. Where are you? Can you go higher and be straight? I want your core tucked in, I want your pelvis to be straight, engage that leg. Lifting, five seconds, this leg left. Just lift and be stable. So really stable and strong. Change legs, how is the other leg? Engage everything, tight, tight, tight. Then you go down and then you lift. Lift, lift, you can hold it there and pump. Up to you, wherever you want to take it, wherever your balance is. Let's see you straight. No curled backs, you've got five seconds. Four, get that leg straighter and lift. Yeah, good. And rest. Now you're going, onto your, going down, onto your knee, to the side, and you're just going to lift that leg. Try not to rock. So you may be better balancing and just lifting. So just gonna lift that leg. Lift, lift. So nice and still and lift. Really using that inner and outer thigh. You could be just here with your knee bent. Can you lift? Can you lift? Straight, now can you go forwards and back? Forwards and back. You can keep your foot in the air if you want to, just wherever you are. You can rest, you can hold for support. You've got 10 seconds, working on that side, coming round that glute, maybe some straight to finish. Come on, lift and tall, lift and tall. Same exercise the other side. On the knee, for balance, leg goes out straight. You don't need to put it down for your advance, you just keep it in the air. Nice, tall, tall and straight. Tummy's engaged, knees engaged, and we're going to lift that leg. And you're just going to lift, lift, lift. 
lift, try and keep still, try and keep still, lift, feel that glute working, it's engaging and lift, engage and lift, engage and lift, don't be sloppy, keep that knee in tight, I'm going to go forwards and back, forwards and back, try and keep it straight, try not to cheat when you go back, come on, in five seconds, then we're going to go straight lifts and back. Straight lifts, five seconds, a five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Well done. Whoa, that works for glute. So the next one, so nice and easy. We're rolling over from side to side. So just rolling around that core, we just roll and we come back. We roll and we come back. We roll and we come back. Ready? Right, right side. Ready? And we go. A roll and come back. A roll and we come back. Really get that hip up. Engage that core when it's tight. Use that momentum. Roll it over. Coming up for your five seconds. When we change sides, we're changing sides. Changing sides now. Halfway. And that's your five minutes of core. Nearly finished. It's gone really quickly today. Ten seconds. Stable and strong at that top. Reaching up. We reach and we come back. Last two. Last one coming up. Here we go. And you rest. Well done. And then you're back to cardio. The cardio is hard and that's on purpose because we just need to work. Yeah. So again, I'll run this one. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rest. It's going to be a lunge. Sorry, I'll show you this. Like lunge and kick up. Lunge and kick up. Half on one leg, half on the other leg. 20 seconds each leg. Then we're going to do squat, lunge and squat. So when we do the lunge, we're going to stay on the same side, lunge, and then you come out to the squat. Lunge, that can be jumped, that can be low impact. So that's the second one. Third one is just shuffle and punching, punching. And then we're going to go up and cross, and then round. Let's try those punches. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, up and then round. And when you go round, let's get it from that foot. Yeah, try the other side. One, two, three, four, up and chin. And then round. Yeah, you have to be able to shuffle and up and round. And then it's one, two, three, four, side kick. Remember that roundhouse kick? We've done some work on that where we lift, we lift, and then we kick. We lift, and then we kick. Try the other side. Remember, it doesn't come from your back, it comes from your knee, and you kick. And then we're just going to do windmills and a side lunge it's as our ladder. It'll make sense. A little bit more time to go. Let's just stretch out. First exercise is your lunge. So it's your runner's lunge. And then coming up to kick, straight kick, down and kick. Try, do it at a speed where you don't wobble, okay? This is as much about stability as it is about speed. If you can do it fast, fine. But I don't want you wobbling, okay? So we're going to go in 10 seconds. So choose your lunge and then you're going to kick for 20 seconds. Ready? And we go. It's going to be lunge and kick. Lunge and kick. Remember you can jump it. I'm just going to keep it low impact and I'm going to try and be still. But we can go faster as we get used to it. So that's 10 seconds gone. Only another 10. Come on. Make it good. Make a tour, engage, and then you change sides. The other side, down and kick. Stable and kick. Stable, come on, some of you can jump. I'm just going to keep it low. Down and up, down and up. I've got five seconds. Here we go, we're doing 40 seconds and 20. And then you rest. Well done. So, lunge squat. If I didn't have my knee problem, I would jump, but I love this exercise. It's about a rhythm. It's about a lunge and then a squat. A lunge and a squat. 40 seconds. In five, in four. Keep on one side and then change to the other side. Ready? Go. It's a lunge. You can do it faster, but make them solid and solid. Make it solid. Stay with it. Make it solid. That's 10. Come on. Work those legs, pump it. You've got it. And 
stop, change legs. Ready? Come on, let's see you jumping. Some of you jumping, let's go. Down and squat. Down straight and squat wide. Down straight, squat wide. Come on, you can go faster. You've got 10 seconds. You can. Yes, you can. It's here. It's good. It's strong. Well done, that's your rest. Really, really good. Nice and easy. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, up and round. One, two, three, four, up, two, round and round. Ready? In five, in four, in three, in two. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, up, round. One, two, three, four, up, 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 round, round. One, two, two, two. come on. One, two, two, two. Here you go. One, two, chin and round. Yeah. One, two, chin and round.
Okay, so we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Our first exercise is your back plank. Remember, you can always sit on the floor, just do leg raises, wherever you want to be. Ready? And you go, you lift. One, up, in and up, in and up. Get that butt high. Yeah, you could be here, it's up to you. Then just kicking, kicking, or there, or you come in, kick, in, kick, in, and down, in, kick, in, and down. Here we go, coming up to 10 seconds to go. We've got five seconds. And we rest. Well done. Front plank, walk it out, back to your dog, touch your toe. And I'm gonna go in five seconds. In four, in three, in two, in one. Touch your front plank, walk it out, bring it back to your dog, touch your toe, touch your toe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Touch your toe, touch your toe. And touch that toe, touch that toe. And touch that toe, touch that toe. We've got 10 seconds. You're doing well. Touch that toe, touch that toe. And there we go, you finished. So your bear, your bear and back. So your bear is here. Your bear is here, touch your toe, touch your toe, go back, come up, touch your toe, touch your toe, go back. Okay, so you're moving through your body as you come up and down for 40 seconds. Are you ready? On your bear, touch your toe, go, touch your toe, walk it back, walk it up, touch that toe, twist. Good, you're using your core, you're working around your glutes, you could just be sitting there, just going back, back, toe, toe. If you didn't want to move, toe, toe. Going backwards and then coming over to your toes. Can you walk through your bear? Are we seeing some nice movements there? You've got 10 seconds. Can you move through your body? Get that butt low on your bear. Good, some good agility. This is nice. And we stop. Whoa, that's a good one. So down, really simple, front plank to side plank. So in five seconds, you're just gonna go front plank to side plank, to front plank to side plank. Try and keep the line, try and keep that body still as you move through, ready? And you go, front plank, side plank, front plank, side plank. Let me see you doing this. Keeping that body nice and still, working through. Keep that arm up high. That's good posture. Are you straight in your side plank? You've got 20 seconds. Working it through, it's either side. I think you can go a little bit straighter maybe, a little bit stronger. Let's see how it goes. Lovely high arms, that's better. And we stop. Okay, some of you may have seen we're going to attempt the pummel horse. So the pummel horse, your head stays forward. So you're walking round your pummel horse. So you're going round and round and round. So your side plank, round, and you just move round the world. So moving round the world, 20 seconds one way, 20 seconds the other way. Okay, just see how can you move around your body like Matt Wilcox did in five seconds, in five, in four, in three, in two, let's go. Your head stays front, you go to the side, you come round to the front, you go to the side, do a bit of a back and you stay front. So each time you come back to your front plank, you walk yourself round, round you go. Come on, think of what speed the Olympians do. So you went round one way, stop, regroup, and now I'm gonna give you a full 20 seconds to go round the other way. Round the other way, go for 20 seconds. 
and it's one way easier than the other. Make sure your legs are straight in your front plank, straight in your back plank as you come round. And then you have to curl five and four and three and two and one. Whoa. It makes us appreciate how difficult the pummel horse is, doesn't it? Wow, that is so amazing. So we're onto our cardio, our last circuit. We've just got some challenges. The first one is shuffle and high knees and then a burpee. So similar to we begin with. So we're going to shuffle, high knees, for four and then a burpee. Yeah. Then we go back, shuffle, high knees for four, one burpee for 40 seconds. So I'm going to give us another 15 seconds and then we go. That's the first exercise. Then we're going down and kick and then we do a, a bear shuffle. So in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So you're going to shuffle, shuffle, high knees and a burpee. Ready? Go. Shuffle, high knees, burpee. Shuffle, high knees, burpee. Shuffle, high knees, burpee. Come on, you can do it. High knees, burpee, down. Come on, shuffle, high knees, burpee. Let's see those high knees. Let's see it, high, 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 high. And a burpee, good burpee. Let's go, let's move. You've got 20 seconds. You're in your second half. How are you doing that shuffle? High knees, those high knees could be faster maybe. Come on, pump it through. In five, in four, in three, in two, in one, and rest. The next one is our power move. It's gonna be down and kick, down and kick. But remember, down, kick, you can jump it. It's up to you, okay? We keep on one side and then we go to the other side for 20 seconds, 20 seconds each side. Ready, and you go. Down and kick, down and kick, down and kick. That's five. Come on, up high. Come on, kick from the D. Come on, move it. That's 10 seconds on that side. You can. Come on, pump it through. Rah! Pump it through. It's a half step. Go on, kick out. Go to the side as you kick. Change sides. Change sides. Here you go. Change it. You've got five seconds now. Five and four and three. And two, and rest, well done. Whoa. So, this time we're gonna keep it all low. Bear shuffle, squat back. Bear shuffle, squat back. Bear shuffle, squat back. I need you to hang in on this. Okay, your heart rate will be up. I need you to hang in for 40 seconds. Ready, go, bear, shuffle, down and up. Keep low, keep low. Now, keep low, keep that butt low. Come on, you can. That's 10 gone. Who can pump it to the end? Go on, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Keep low, keep low, keep low. Come on, you can. I'm with you. Are you with me? How strong can you be? Come on, we have got 10 seconds. I want you to work it out. Come on. Three, two, one. Whew. That was hard. Well done. Punches and side kick. Ready? And here we go. Punches. Four, four punches. One, two, three, four. Kick and kick. One, two, three, four. Kick and kick. One, two, three. Kick and kick. One, two, three, four. Kick and kick. One, two. Come on, hang in. Come on, make them count. Come on. Halfway. Come on. You can do it for 20 seconds. Can you jump? A one, two, four, up, up, one, two, four, up, and up. Come on. I've got 10 to 5 seconds. Up, one, two, up, and up. And then you stop. Wow. Well, they're all ready. You've got to be a star. It's your last one for your stars. You've got 15 seconds. Remember, it's down. Up, down, up, wherever you want to go, or just down and star. Ready? In five, do your last one. Five, four, three, and you go. 40 seconds. 
big, down, big, up, up, come on, think high, think low, think high, come on, you're going to work at home, it's your last mile, look at that, some lovely elevations, it's fantastic, all superstars, 20 seconds left, you're halfway, I need you to hang in, come on, we can work with it, you can, get that butt low, explode, 10 seconds, here we go, go on, try a little bit harder, go on, go on, five seconds, four, three, two, one, woo, well done, that is really, really good guys and girls, really lovely, it's water, it's towel, it's time to catch that breath back, really well done, it goes by so quickly. 15 minutes of work, 15, 10 minutes of core. Well done. Really excellent. And on a bank holiday to see so many people, that's really special. <sighs> so in our stretches, we're just going to go through a few of those movements that we did. So we're just literally going to reach up tall. Where's our nice standing position? As we started, our heart rate will just be coming down and we're just coming over. We always cross our hands one way, so maybe just intertwine your fingers a different way. And push out, push out. And up and go to the side. Just where we started today, just as though nothing had happened. We're gonna open our legs this time and round through our body and stretch. And stretch. Around in the opposite direction. Round we go. We're just going to hold ourselves nice and tall. Remember that back leg that we did. Can we engage that knee, engage that leg, and just go down? And let's do a back stretch coming down. You should feel it in the back of that calf. Coming straight, straight through, straight back. Down it goes. This, your, that leg is on your toe. Then you can come back and go into a hamstring, your straight hamstring with your toe up. So just toe up, toe back. So that's where we started. From there, we're just going to challenge ourselves. We're a little bit harder now. Have we got our balance? We need our breath. We just hold that as a stretch. I want to see power in your fingertips. Fingers are spread out. Core is engaged. Leg is engaged. I'm just going to hold that there and come down slowly and change sides. So you're just going to go back into that calf stretch, you're going to engage that leg, two straight legs coming down straight. How far can you come? It doesn't matter. If you're at your knee, that's fine. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. I'm going to pull the toe up and come into that hamstring stretch, feeling it at the back of your hamstring. By tightening your leg, you can, you're engaging your quads, you release your hamstring from your glute to your knee. And then you're coming up and on that leg, going into your pose again. Remember, engage your core, engage your leg, and coming out and strong, strong. Can I see straighter knees? Can I see purpose in those fingertips? Stretching out through your chest. Your chest is going outwards and open. Use that breath to keep you still. Really nice and down we come. Opening up our hips. We all know the pose, the tree pose. Wherever you want to take it. Our legs are tired, but we're just doing it as a stretch. So you can literally stand like this. Or you can bring your leg up, you can hold on to something if you like, and then just control your breath and use that as your stretch. And I want you to elongate through your rib cage, up through your shoulders, power in your fingertips. Your hands should be apart, they should be powerful, they should be strong, the core is engaged, the knee is open. So if you're on the side, your knee should be not here. It should be back. You should be opening your hip. Try open. 
You can bring it down if you like and just open that hip. Open that hip. Then change into the other side. Bring the knee up wherever you want to go. If you want to keep it low, we want to open that hip. If it wants to go up, it can go up. Again, we need to be tall here. Our abdomen is braced. Nice, solid middle. Then our arms go up and they reach. And we feel peace. We use our breath to control and to be stable. To be strong and stable. Our breath today is going to be long, so once we come wide, we're then ready to go into our yoga position, into warrior one, first front foot is straight, back foot's at 45 degrees, I'm just going to go down. So nice and straight, try and open through your hips, and we're just going to go down and go over into your triangle, wherever you want to go. If here is good, and you just want to open that shoulder, just so you can open that shoulder so you're sideways, that's fine. If you want to go down further, that's fine. If you want to have your hand on your hip, that's fine. I want to just stay in this pose, and I want you to find a, a pose that's comfortable, a stretch that's comfortable, and breathe. I want you to open that chest. So if you need the leverage of putting that hand against here to open, that's fine. If you're right the way down, wherever you want to be. Just want you to hold that there. Feel your breath, feel your body, feel the engagement of all the tissues. Bring that back knee back, bring the front knee back. And then coming up straight, we want to do an evolving triangle. So I'm going to come around, I'm going to twist through, and my, ha my outside hand now goes to the other side of my foot. You may not want to twist very much, you may just want to look over your shoulder. I want that leg straight, and I want you to be in that twist. If you can go low, you can go low, otherwise you can just twist over your shoulder. Keeping the front leg straight, keeping the back leg straight and engaged. Look over your shoulder, twist through the hips. Both legs are straight. As your body allows you, if that arm will go over, then that's fine. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Try and find peace, try and melt into that pose. Try and allow your breath to let you relax into that pose. Lengthening those leg muscles. Untwisting. And coming up, we just change sides. So this time, front leg is straight. Back leg is at your 45 degrees. Both legs are going to be straight. We're just going down. Arms are up. Your arm can be on the side. I just want you to go down sideways. So you're just going down, losing that shoulder, not here, all that shoulder back. Wherever you feel comfortable, if that's comfortable, that's fine. But just stay in that pose. Again, pulling that kneecap up, pulling that back leg back. Pulling that shoulder away, opening the chest. Looking up if you want, and that arm can go up, can go over. Allowing the breath to settle. And then just coming up, we're then going to twist. So we come round, and again, the legs are staying straight, they're staying round, and just finding a twist. You want to go down further you can, otherwise you just look over your shoulder. That arm can come up, that arm can go down, wherever you want to be. 
Find your comfortable place. Find that stretch. Try and pull that hip in so that the hip is around. Try not to hold your breath. Try and get into a position that you're relaxed. And you're slowly coming up. Then we're going to come wide, nice and wide. We're just literally going to go over into our side lunge that we did. Just into the inner thigh again. And up and over to the other side. Stretching through the inner thigh. Then come up, you can go as wide as you want. We're just going to go down with a straight back. You're just going to go hang. If you want to bend your knees to begin with, then just bend your knees. Just feel that wide position. Just be down there. Once I'm down there, actually, I want to do a shoulder. So I want to twist around with my shoulder. Then I want to twist a little bit of mobility. Just feel as it needs it. Then we're going to challenge ourselves to go as wide as we can. If you reach out, we're going to go down. If you can go down to your um, elbows, then please do. And just go down to your hands. And just allow your head to that pan. Then let your body settle in that position. Use your breath, just allowing it to settle. To inhale and you exhale. You can turn around, hopefully your mat is near you. Going to lie down on your mat with your arms stretched. I think I'm just going to stand up so that you can see that you're lying on your mat. And then I, what I want you to do is lift one leg and I want you to cross it over and try and keep your shoulders straight and try and keep your body straight but allow yourself to cross over. You may be able to catch that foot, you may not. It may be down low, it doesn't matter. Open that hip backwards. It comes into your piriformis. It comes into all your deep back muscles, just opening up. Coming back straight, changing legs. And the other leg is going to cross over backwards. Really opening up through that hip. Try to keep your shoulders square on the mat if you can. You may want to pop your, your arms wide. And we're going to come back to centre. And then you're just going to lift your heel to your bottom one at a time. Again, I'm just going to stand up just to show you your heel comes to your bottom. And your quad stretch. Changing legs. The other heel comes to the bottom. And I want you to rest yourself down. The head goes down. And I want you to open up your chest and look up. Look up into your little cobra. Have your arms at the side. Pull back your shoulders and look up. Remember you're on the floor, looking up. And then if you wish, if you have it, you're going to bring your legs up and you're going to go into the bow. You can have two legs and two legs up and your bow. Otherwise, you're just going to go like this and your legs are just going to come up. You want to go backwards. If you find that that's not helping you, 
come up onto your knees and just go backwards through here. I just want a back heart opening stretch. Hold it for three or four seconds. Once you release, the chin comes down. All meeting up, child's pose. Nice and peacefully. When you're settling that child's pose, you may need to rock. From our child's pose, we're just going to go into our pigeon. So one knee comes forward into your 90 position. We're just nice and open to your 99 position. And then I want you to play with this position. I want you to be long, or you can be high, or you can twist, whichever way you want to be. You need to find a position that's comfortable and then just settle. Maybe that that hip flexor just needs a little, little bit of a stretch. That leg can be straight. Maybe that you need to be here. Just find out where we're stiff. And let's just move and get some length and mobility back. I'm just settling just for a few seconds. Then changing over. So the other leg comes forward. If you're in your 99, you just twist around. Again, you're getting a stretch here. Just by being here, you're stretching. So wherever you want to be, you can go down into your sleeping pigeon. Just your hands in front of you. You can kind of come up into a chatty pigeon, I suppose. Just remember, try and find a stretch for you. And then find one where you can really just settle and just allow that body to stretch and settle. Allow a muscle to be moved that maybe normally isn't moved. And gently pushing yourself up. Coming up into your wide legs. And this time I want you to curl your back in. Curl your back down. Curl, 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 curl in. How small can you make yourself? Can you get a curl in an opening of the fascia down here? The bottom of your back. Ready to pull on your feet just to bring yourself down a little bit lower. Really, really, really hide into that little ball. And then just uncurl vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly coming up. Gathering all that air in in front of you. And then just let it go, let it go. Gather all that air in, gather it in, and let it go. I want to be greedy, I want to bring my arms back, open my heart, I want to gather it all in, be thankful for today, and coming up, and out, and alive, and able to smile. And thank you for coming to Friday Fives. Really special to see you all. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Hope you all Thank enjoyed you. it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary.
Lovely to see so many people here. Thank you, Mary. Thank you too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you, Mary. Good to see you, Colin.